Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you again with another home revamp. So these bar stools are going to get a fresh new look and I'll show you how I did it. I started by spray painting the legs with this Rust-Oleum spray paint. And this is how it looks once that was done. I didn't bother to spray the, the seat portion because that's going to be covered. I picked up this foam from Walmart. It's a set of four and I'm using this as a seat cushion for the bar stools. So I laid them on top of the bar stool so I can get an idea of how much I'm going to need so I can cut the foam. And once I get it um, to the size that I like it to be, I'm just gonna take the scissors and I'm gonna cut into it. So I'm just taking the scissors and I'm cutting into both pieces of the foam so I can go ahead and on to the next step. So now that I have my pieces cut, I basically um, cut it in half. So I can use um, the two pieces. I can use both of those for both bar stools. So that's all I'm gonna do. It's actually not the right size for this bar stool, but it's okay. Um, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect for me because this is gonna remain in my home. If I was doing it for someone else, then that would be different. But since it's gonna remain in my home, it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the fabric and I'm just gonna measure out how much fabric I'm gonna need to cover the bar stool with the foam. So I just placed the fabric on top of the foam and the bar stool and kind of got a, a gauge on how much I'm going to need. So once I did that, I just went ahead and cut how much I was gonna need. And basically for me to attach the, the fabric to the bar stool, I actually used some hot glue and I used a stapler. So once I get one side glued down, I went ahead and put the foam back on there so I can put it on there and pull the fabric over the foam so I can make sure that it's pulled tightly. And I just placed the foam back in there and I just pulled the fabric over to the other side, made sure I pulled it tight enough where it won't move or anything. And I went ahead and took the hot glue and I glued that side down as well and I cut off any excess and then I followed up with the staple gun and just went over the hot glue, uh, the part that I glued down with the stapler. So this is how it looks once I attach the fabric to the bar stool. And as I said before, the foam was not the right size, so I can see where the foam stops on the top, but it's okay because this is for my home. So I'm gonna follow up with some of the Mardi Gras beads and this is just to cover up um, any fabric that wasn't cut evenly or if you if I can see any staples this will kind of conceal any of that so I'm just taking the hot glue and I'm just using the hot glue to adhere the Mardi Gras beads so basically this is how it looks once I went around it with the beads Next, I went in with some Mod Podge and some glitter, and I'm just going to coat the legs of the bar stool, and I'm just going to mix that up. Just pour some in a bowl and add the glitter and mix it. You can mix it to whatever consistency that you like it to be. If you want more glitter, then add more glitter. If you want less glitter, add less. So basically, I'm just going to pour this together and stir it, and I'm going to spread this over the legs of the bar stool. I use a foam brush that you can get from the Dollar Tree to apply the Mod Podge and glitter mixture to the legs of the bar stool. So this is the final look you guys. I think they turned out pretty nice and I'm going to show you the close up as well. But And I have them sitting in the entryway of my home. They're not going to stay here. Well, I don't know. They're not. I don't think they're going to stay here. This is not where I plan on them being. but. Um, until everything is complete in my home, they're just going to sit here until I get everything changed out, <laughs> renewed, or refreshed, revamped to my liking, and everything ties together. So, I just have them here for now, and that's a close-up shot, you guys. So, basically, that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and you can ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. 
So thanks again, you guys. Thank you for all of your support. I really appreciate everything. And until next time, you guys. Bye.